So now we want to look at relations, functions, and how we graph these functions. Now I have a couple of definitions here on the screen. A function is a special type of relation. Let's, let's draw some bricks here. Let's not even read any further. So a function is a special type of relation. If I'm reading that, then I need to know what a relation is because this thing is saying a function is a relation. Let's examine, let's go down to, to the letters, to the, the word in, in blue there. A relation is a set of what we call ordered, I put ordered in quotations there. It's a set of ordered pairs of elements taken from the Cartesian product of two sets according to how the relation between elements from both sets is defined. That sounds like a mouthful. Let us see if we can break down all this gibberish that's written here. So, let us see we have two sets. Set A and set B. Let us say set A consists of these elements. Let us say set A has the elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. And let us say set B consists of the elements 2, 4, 5, and 6. Let us find what we call the Cartesian product of A and B. So Cartesian product. Let me just remind you what Cartesian product is. All right. The Cartesian product written as A times B. And what's a Cartesian product? Let me just put it below. Let's put it below here. Cartesian product, we normally denote it as A times B. A multiplied to B, but the Cartesian product is really what we call a set of pairs, ordered pairs. So here's how we get Cartesian product now of A times B. So you take, it's like you're expanding brackets. So you take this one, you take this one term and apply it to each of these elements over here. So one, pair with two. One also pair with four. And one pair with five. And one also pair with six. Then you take the two. So you get the picture now. You get it, take the two and pair it, pair it with each of these elements over here. So two pair with two. Then two pair with four. Then two pair with five. And then two pair with six. Good. And then you take a three and do the exact same thing. So three pair with two. Pair with four. Pair with five. What a space now, eh? And three pair with six. And then we take the four and pair with each of these elements in B. Note that the first element in the pair is always an element from A. So four pair with two. Four pair with four. Four pair with five. And four pair with six. So before we talk about relations, we need to know what, what, that, what we mean when we say Cartesian product. So let me read again what a relation is. So a relation is a set of ordered pairs of elements taken from the Cartesian product of two sets according to how the relation between elements from both sets is defined. Now, so what's a relation? Now, the relation is given. You can make up whatever relation you want. Let us say now. Let us say. Let me just. Um, this. So, I have A times B. Some space here. All right. So, I have A times B. Now, let us say a relation R. A relation 
are it's such that I could use A and I could use B. Uh, let me use such that A plus B is odd. In other words, we're saying the relation is such that A plus B gives you an odd number. Good? So when you're doing the re so relation, let's, let's put where is the relation. So the relation is a set of ordered pairs. Taking from, so every set, every pair we're going to take, we're going to take each of the pairs from this Cartesian product here. All right? So all the members of R will be taken from A times B. And R is a set of ordered pairs. And it's, it's taken according to how it is, de it is defined. Now, this relation is defined in a way we're saying that R is such that A plus B is odd. So in other words, we're going to take the elements. We, we, when you add the elements from the pairs, you get an odd number. So one, two. Um, one, four. So R is a set of ordered pairs. But the members of R depend on how the relation is defined. All right, one, five. No, one five is not a disease. So one five wouldn't be a part of it. One six. What else? Um, two five. These are the pairs we're taking. Um, three two. Three four. All these pairs, when I add the A plus the B value. <clears throat> so the A value <clears throat> we take as the first value in the pair. And the B value we take as the second value in the pair. All right. Um, then we have three six, and we have any other four or five. All right. So let so, so notice R relation is a set of ordered pairs. In other words, we ordered all of these pairs from. The Cartesian set according to how the relationship is defined. And how this one is defined? The A plus B is odd. What if I change it to A plus B is even? What if I change it to A plus B is even? Then what elements would be in R? The elements that would be in R is the, 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 the one where the sum of A plus B gives us an even number. So an, an example of the elements in R would be 2, 2. What else? 1, 5. What, 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 even, yeah, what else? 2, 4. 2, 4. There are too two many. So we have 2, 2, 2, 4, 2, 6, 3, 5, 4, 2, 4, 4. Four, six. All the pairs where the summation of A plus B or the summation of the two, the two values give us an even number. R, I could change the relation at R and say R is such that A equal to B. And the pairs would be the pairs where the A value is equal to the B value. So 2, 2 is one of them. Any other? Where the pairs are equal? 4, 4. And these would be the, these would be what R is. 4, 4. So notice, what we have in R is, we can say, there's a blank statement that we can use that is true for all the pairs. And in this case, for all the pairs, the A value is equal to the B value. A, the members from the set A. B, the members of, from the set B. All right, or I could say something like B is equal to 2A. This would mean that whatever the A value is, the B value is two times that. So, for example, one, two would fit that description. One, two. 
Because if the B values, if the A values one, then the B values two times that. What else fits it? Two, four. The B value is twice the A value. All right, what else fits, fits that? Any other pair? Three, six. The B value or the second value is twice the first value. You good? So these are what we call a relation. So the, notice the relation, the relation between the two sets, the, uh, the set of ordered pairs is taken from the Cartesian product. So let me go over the definition again. A relation is a set of ordered pairs of elements. What if I say R is designed in such a way that A plus B is prime? What would, be, what would be the members of the relation R? A plus B is prime. We're taking all the pairs where the summation gives us a prime number. So 1, 2. You sum up 1 and 2, you get 3. That's, and that's a prime number, right? 1 and 4. We get a prime number when we sum these values. 1, 5. No. 1, 6. Yes. 7 is a prime number. 2, 2. 2, 4. 2, 5. Yes. 2, 6. Yes. No. Sorry. No. 2, 6. 2 plus 6 is 8. All right, so 2, 6 wouldn't be fit, wouldn't fit. 3, 2, yes. 3, 4, yes. Five six, yes. Five six give up five plus six give us eleven. No, this is not five. It's three six. Four two. So no other. So these would be the pairs. And what's special about this relation? For each pair, when you sum the A plus the B value, you get a prime number. Good? So this is what we call a relation. Alright? It's a set of ordered pairs. No. What is a function? No, one of the ways we use to represent relations <coughs> is through mappings. All right? So we now let's do the mapping for this relation. So, can this relation one maps to two? One also maps to four, right? That's one four. One maps to six. Two maps to five. Three maps to two, and three maps to four. So we can always use what we call mappings to represent a relation. And I could ask you, is this relation a function? Remember how to define function? Each element in A must be mapped to one and only one element in B. In other words, for the relation to be a function, the mapping has to be a one-to-one -one or a many-to-one. It has to be a one-to-one. -one. Or a many-to-one. In other words, this relation we wouldn't consider to be a function. Good? Because notice over here, we have one being mapped to many. Because we have one mapped to two or one to many relation. Alright? So a relation, a function, sorry, a function is a relation. But it's a special type of relation where each element in one set must be mapped to one and only one element in, an, in another set. You good? So this would, not, this would not be an example of a function. In the next video, we're going to look at some examples of function. Good?